Hello friends, welcome back again to ND Fashion Concepts. Uh, it's been a very long time I posted a video because I've probably been offline these days and you know trying to set up things. But right here again, I'm back again once more with you guys. So in my channel, I give you illustration on how to make a male senators and male outfits. And also the design attached, you know. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and uh, put on your notification bell. It will notify you whenever I upload these videos. And don't forget to like this video if you like it. Hit that like button there and uh, comment on it wherever you observe. So let's get down to business. In this video, actually, I'll be teaching us how to cut a short sleeve for senators. Okay. So I do hope this video will help you and improve your basic skills. Okay. So let's get down to business. Okay. So guys, this is the fabric I'll be using is Ankara fabric. Okay. So I'll be using it for this very tutorial. Okay. So as you can see, I fold by two. Alright. I fold by two in order to have the complete edges and the perfect curving. Okay. So what you have to do first of all is measure the armhole of your senator, alright? So I'll go now and get my back because you're using the back. So, guys, this is the back fabric, the back loot of my senator, alright? So, as you can see, I've already done my cutting, blah blah blah, and all that. So all I'll do is I'll measure from this edge. I'll measure from this edge down to this edge, okay? Wherever it gives me is my armhole for my sleeve. So I'll take an, an accurate measurement. Go around it just like this. I have twelve and a half inches. Okay? So I'll put this one aside now because it's of no use for now. So since I have 12 and a half, what I will get from here is a total of 11 and a half. One inch is left. Okay. So I'll position very well and also iron it out. Okay. So here is the center of the sleeve, okay? So what I will do right now is I will mark my cut-out line, okay? With the straight line. All right? This is my cutout line. So now, since I have my cutout line, I will measure the sleeve length. Okay, this person in question, my client, the sleeve is nine inches length. So I'll add my half inches so in allowance, which is nine and a half. I have total. So I'll mark. I also come down here to mark nine and a half inches. So after that, I will rule across with a straight line. Okay. So I have my full sleeve length and my half inches extra swing allowance attached. Okay. So right now, 
I will mark my 12 and a half inches for my armhole. Okay, as you can see, I use a slant shape here, like this. So I make sure I have 12 and a half inches left. Okay, so I'll mark here and I'll mark here. All right. So since I have this, all you have to do is make a shape to this point. All right. So I will use a freehand sketching to make the shape like this. Okay. So as you can see, I have a shape here. Alright. So since I have this now, all I'll do is add my extra sewing allowance, extra folding allowance, sorry. Extra folding allowance. So I'll be adding 2.5 inches to it. Extending by 2.5 inches. I will extend here as well by 2.5 inches to have a straight line and mark straight and roll across. Make a straight line like this one. Okay. Alright, so since I have this now, I will mark uh, my rank sleeve. Okay, my round sleeve. That's the next step. So, so my round sleeve here is 14 inches wide. Okay, so I'll divide 14 inches by two because I fold by two. Okay, so I'll divide 14 inches by two, and I have seven inches total. Okay. So I will add my extra allowance by one inches. Okay. Now, since I have this, I will then make a shape from this point, from my, uh, from this beginning of my armhole, the point of my armhole, to my to this point of my round sleeve. Okay. So I will kind of make it a shape using my ruler my armhole ruler so I'll get a little shape like this okay so since I have this now you can see the shape is all out now here is where you need to pay attention to okay so pay very attention to this very point I'll mark 2.5 inches upward here which is my Folding allowance 2.5 inches. Okay, so I'll mark it down here. All right, then I will mark, I will measure it and see what I have left. And I'm having nine inches. Okay, nine inches. So the nine inches is what I put here. All right, the nine inches is what I put here so that when I fold it will correspond to this point. All right. So I will do the folding so that you can also see how it works. Okay. So since I have this now, I will then connect to this point from my round sleeve to my folding point. Okay. Just like this. So guys, this is it. I have my short sleeve pattern made, drafted out. So I will go ahead now to cut it out. So you can actually see how it looks like. Okay guys, so this is how the sleeve should look like. All right, you're folding from here. Two and a half inches allowance. The armhole drafted, and the shape 
here as well so i'll open it up for us to see okay so this is how it looks like the armhole the same shape as well i have to fold by two okay so right now i've made it done so i will use this very sleeve to copy out the other sleeve so i will show you how i did that Okay guys, this is how it looks like. Now I'll place on top. Okay. I'll hold it with this one so it won't move. So right now I will copy tracing the lines, the shape, everything. I'm tracing it out. So I'll come down to the armhole and I'll also shape it out. Okay guys, so this is what I have. I have the two pair here. As you can see, it's all done. So this is how it looks like. Now, the next thing I'll be doing now is showing you how I make my folding. Okay. So I'll open it up like this by two like this. Now I will fold after ironing, make everywhere straight like this. So remember we have 2.5 inches which is two and a half so i'm making the use of the half for my first folding okay just like this so i've done this one then i will complete my folding this way so as you can see the edges are all complete okay had it been i did not mark out my 2.5 inches here it won't be complete as you can see here so everything corresponds direct okay so i will have to iron very well as well So guys, that's it. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is adding my hemming gum. Okay? If you don't want to use a cloth gum, you can use hemming gum. It's all the same. So, I'll use it. I'll, I, I'm using my hemming gum to gum the edges. So, I'll put it inside. This way. Okay? And then, iron very well. So that my hemming gum will gum. Although I will still make a stitch on it, so this is how it looks like. What I did here is what I'll be doing to the other of my sleeve. So it's all done, then as you can see we have a little notch here, so I will just have to trim it out, so no use, and I will trim this other part out as well. So that's it for the sleeve, as you can see, it's all made neat and okay, alright, so 
what I did here is what I'll be doing to the other sleeve. So guys, thank you so very much for watching. My name is Destiny. Uh, if you do enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to wait for more of my videos because we still have a lot of videos to work on all right so guys see you on my next video stay safe and healthy thank you guys so very much thank you thank you for watching have a lovely day bye